Hi everyone. In this video, I want to show you my code to analyze any HTML code or any or basically any web page uh, using MATLAB. So let let me start with talking about why would you need this or or why we use this. So basically, if you are working on any project that has to do with uh, web analysis, you need to scrap some data of a website. You wanted to collect some information uh, about the prices of books. If you want to know the exchange rate of currencies, something that is always updated. If you want to track a news uh, on a website, if you want to do anything, so basically anything that you want to do uh, with a code, uh, like using MATLAB, of course, to scrap data, analyze data, record the data of a website or over the internet, you always you would need this code okay let me explain why because in all of these cases you need to analyze the web page or the html description of a web page we all know that any web page in any website is basically written or described in html code right and this is what you get using web read here right when you use web read url read whatever your matlab version is Whenever you do this, the output of, uh, of this, uh, if it is a web page, of course, not a video or a file, something like that, is the HTML code, okay? So, and, and the problem with this, when I start working uh, with this, is that whenever you do this, you get an output uh, for the HTML or the HTML code itself, I mean, as a very long string, right? It is like a very long vector of characters just next to each other. Maybe get, maybe it gets it to like twenty five thousand character times one. Okay, which is a very long string in MATLAB, and that's it. That's all what you have. Now, when I first work with this, this was very frustrating to look inside uh, this very long string for the data I wanted to record uh, record or the data I want to scrap or anything. Okay, so this is really frustrating and annoying. Also, it is really hard to connect data together. Okay, let's say that you have a group of images and under each image there is a title or a price or something like that and you want to connect this image with this piece of information. Okay, let's, talk, let's say you're working on a scrap or something like that. So to do this, with this very long vector of, of, of characters, you can't do this basically because it is really hard to connect between them and you have a lot of spaces maybe between them, which may which makes the position in the in the string is not a very good idea. And when I looked over the internet, I saw that a lot of of, of people talk about using reg expression, which is reg xp. This is a, just a function, okay, to uh, to basically look for a certain uh, expression inside a very long string. Okay, that's very good. It is a very good approach to look for it. But how? And it give you all the position of the same string, so even if it is repeated, that's okay. But how are you gonna connect the data together? How are you gonna see or visualize HTML? Okay, so this code helps you if you're having this problem. Now, what this code does is that it shows you the HTML code as a tree, okay, as a, a, a basically a structure, and within this structure there is another structure. Let me explain. We all know. Or basically, if you if you're here to this um, video, then you should know that an HTML of um, any uh, website nowadays is basically divisions. So, uh, like the HTML coder uh, uh, or a website developer uses this dev um, uh, syntax to begin a division and use this one to end the division, uh, right? And this division has data related to each other. And within a division, there is another division and so on. So the best way, basically, to describe a website or to see an HTML is as a tree of bigger, big divisions. And inside it, there is a small division. And at the end, you have the pure characters or code. So basically, with this code, you can visualize, analyze, and do anything you want to, to the code, looking at it as divisions so you have a big division and inside it the smaller ones and at the end you have the text or the code itself which of course has the data you're looking for 
Okay, so let me explain more with running an example so you can see it. Okay, so here is the code. And of course, you will have a link to this code in the description. Um, okay, and uh, also please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so here is the code that you will get from the link. And, and, and basically, it is many functions, but this is the one to run. Main.m, this is a function to run, okay? Don't, don't open other uh, function, use this one. And once you use it, it gives you tell, okay, write the web page. Now, okay, so let's uh, try anything. Uh, let's say what is the most like uh, famous website we want to, to scrap or, or collect data about? Or let's say Amazon, okay? So Amazon.com is something which is very <coughs> popular and common like um, website. So you write the name. Here you go. Here you have the, all the name. And then you hit OK. And uh, it takes some time, like half a minute or something like that, until it analyzes all the web page and uh, stuff. And also it depends on your internet connection, stuff like that. But uh, it basically never gets more than um, like one minute, OK? OK, here it is finished. Now, let, let's let's look at this. Let's first, before we look at this one, look at the work work workspace. So here in the workspace, we can see that there is um, a lot, but let's let the one we care about is this one website. It is a structure. So when you open website, this is this is like this is now how you look at HTML code. So uh, this is the old way of how to look at HTML code, right? You have a very long. It's actually four hundred eighty eight thousand characters, which is like very very long character, of course. So uh, this is the old way MATLAB gives you characters. Now, the new way how to look at this, which is m much, much more efficient to analyze any website, is as a structure. So let's open this, this variable website. And when you see it, it's a struct variable. So here you have a text, which is basically the, uh, the, head, like the, head, the head of the HTML. You know HTML is the head and a body, stuff like that. And you have one big division, right? So let's say, OK, so let's say website dot div underscore one which is the first division or the only division once you open it you see another text and you see uh, three more three uh, smaller uh, divisions okay so let's do the same again and let's open let's open the second division okay and you can see more and more layers and more structure inside the structure to see everything okay so this is how you're gonna deal with it if you want to, to deal with it as a code if you wanted to analyze data in a code, this is, I'm just showing you that it is a structure uh, within another structure and stuff like that. But also in the code, you will see it in an interactive GUI uh, tree. You have here the big website, okay, the, or the web page, and you double click it so you can see the first document and you can see first division. Now open the first division and you're going to see the text in it with three smaller divisions. Open the first one, and you have only this small text. Then you have the second one, which is this text, and so on, and so on, and so on. You can have all the divisions, and you can see. It is an interactive. It is GUI user-friendly. You can see inside, welcome to Amazon, stuff like that, what is written inside the, the website, and stuff like that, OK? And here you go. And, and that's it. That's like very cool. When I when I first worked with this stuff, it was very frustrating to work with a very long character, you know, as an HTML code and do some um, register um, uh, uh, rig expression and stuff like that, and it was really frustrating. But now, when I see it as a tree, it's much simpler and easier to work with and to connect the data. Okay, even if you still now you have a smaller part of the HTML code in each division, and yet you can then do again the same uh, reg xp um, thing, which is a function to find. But but at least now you will be looking inside a smaller part of the code, not the whole code and stuff like that. Okay, let's do another um, example, and that will be this uh, it for this video. So let, this is this is Amazon also, but um, uh, another uh, web page just for books, okay, just for books. So let's uh, copy the 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 web page and let's use it again. So here you go. Now here you have some. Let's 
remove this and then we paste in the the, um, the web page and uh, wait and see what's going on so again you will have remember you have a structure which is website this is a structure with um, all the divisions subdivision uh, and you can access uh, any part of the code very easily just write website dot division one division two division three stuff like that uh, you get it also you have the uh, GUI the user friendly interface you can use to look inside um, your data now here you go use this um, maybe use it as it is maybe uh, uh, further connect the data with each other do your analysis do whatever you want it's a very very helpful tool uh, if you're doing any of this stuff so again look at the website you have the head also always and a very big division inside the division you have smaller ones <clears throat> and so on let's look at the divisions with the prices i guess we're gonna see it the one with the yeah so you have here the container you have the stuff like that you have the holder so i want to see basically the part which has let's say the price of of the product okay so this is not the one okay so let's open another one and then look inside so and here you go you can look and then detect the place um, which has what you're looking for and then uh, okay this looks like okay this item and stuff like that so and here you can see image image source so you can download the image from here and and you know that it, it, it exists in this division so whatever is also in this division is metadata related to this image and so on so it's really helpful for you guys if you're working on any of this um, projects related to uh, web analysis okay okay so i guess that's it for this video thank you for watching again don't forget to like and subscribe and you will find the link for the code and everything in the description of the video thank you everyone thank you for watching